Hi everyone, good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to do vegetables, flowers in pots. If you have a small garden and you don't have much ground, don't panic, don't worry. I've got the perfect solution for you. Let's get cracking. Okay, now I'm just going to do some flowers. I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to show you after what I've done with the vegetable and everything else. Okay, I have a big tall uh, pot in here and if I bend this here I've put some rock uh, for two reasons because I don't need the soil all the way down because those flowers doesn't need deep roots and secondly it gets very windy here I don't want my pot to blow over in the wind and before I put the rocks I put some holes with a drill because we want good drainage okay so I want to show you what flowers I have here so to begin, this will go in the middle. I've got the iris, beautiful yellow color. And here, I mean, you can't go wrong with uh, petunias. And here I've got coleus, which is really beautiful red color. And this one is here, I think Colosia. Yeah, no, Celosia, yeah. A beautiful reddish color. And here I've got this uh, annual daisies, which is, just annually but i love the flowers they are really really beautiful okay and what have i got here i've got some beautiful organic potting soil yes yeah, so i'm going to pour that in there okay and here i've got some um, um blood meal and it just helps with the flowers especially in pots help to flourish to get good roots and blooming as well so I'm just going to put a good two handful on the top here yeah maybe a bit more because there's a lot of flowers that should do okay guys sorry that wasn't um, the iris was the day lily sorry my mistake okay so oh look at these beautiful roots look at that so i'm going i'm going to just put my gloves on okay so this will go in right here in the middle Voila, we've got some beautiful yellow daylilies here, some annual daisies, pink and white, coleus, petunias, and celosia. That is absolutely gorgeous. And here I have some pellets here, just for blooming. And it helps for the flower to keep coming. So I'm just going to sprinkle just a tiny bit. So when I water, just get some nutrients. Okay guys, I want to show you what else I've done. And here, you see I've got some herbs. I've got mint and um, rosemary and thyme and it smells beautiful and you could see in my corner there I got my chair where I sit and reading my book such a beautiful space so you could do that and you can move the plant anywhere you like really 
because you know it's easy to move and if you want to put at the front door just this place was really bland and really ugly there was nothing here and I sit here a lot so it's a nice place to sit and it's a nice place to just you know in the shade as well in the morning we have shade in the afternoon we have uh, plenty of sun and here I have tomatoes yeah in mixture so I have tomatoes here and here I've got a chili plant here I've got some uh, zinnias you could see and um, let me move here if you love roses I've got the best roses for you this one is Royal Bonica and it smell divine if you want your garden to smell like Chanel I'm talking really lovely scent and three roses I've got here that would really really have beautiful smell and oh this is absolutely divine so that's one and this one is one of my favorite it's called David Austin and look at this that is so beautiful it's just a light pink and white and light pink I'm going to smell it and you're going to see the look on my face obviously this is I mean like a Chanel perfume it smells like that it's absolutely gorgeous so if you want your garden to smell like this too and the last one I'm going to show you here this is called double delight I don't know why it's called double delight I guess it's two-tone you could see here it's cream and and pinkish and look at this one look at that so beautiful let me have a little sniff oh gorgeous really really gorgeous and here I have some basil and some parsley which I planted and here I just got the different type of uh, petunias which is lovely it's going to flow down my little tray here and um, and here I have fox glove that's so beautiful And you can plant anything really you can have any vegetables mix and match and just to beautify your patio your your front door garden by your kitchen and anywhere that's boring and you can move it around and it's just so beautiful and I sit here I drink my cup of tea and I'm smelling my roses and I'm like what a beautiful to, to be you know the Bible say in his presence there's fullness of joy when I'm sitting here I see God's glory everywhere all sort of shapes size colors and I see God's creation in every little detail and God has created you for a purpose you are unique you don't have to be a, a copies of somebody else God has a calling on your life Whatever he's called you to do, do it with excellence. Do it for his glory. And that's why we are here on this earth, to do God's work. And God bless you. And I hope you enjoy this beautiful flowers and, and some few uh, vegetables. So send me pictures and comment and, and show me your garden. I love to see. God bless. And we'll see you soon.